En el primer capítulo del libro Arrugas en el Tiempo de 1993, George Smoot nos explicaba que las nuevas observaciones y las nuevas teorías ampliaban nuestro entendimiento del universo de manera extraordinaria. El desarrollo de la tecnología es resultado y parte indispensable de este alcance. En el futuro, habrá nanoestructuras que son both mecánicas, eléctricas y otras cosas. You have to be able to fabricate these very tiny things. Una de las herramientas científicas con mayor potencial para esta y múltiples aplicaciones más es el sincrotron. But it's important that we be doing high-level science that then becomes applied science and then becomes engineering and technological new products and new ways of health. Un sincrotrón es un acelerador de partículas destinado a observar estructuras moleculares como si fuera un gran microscopio. All right, I have many positive things to say about a synchrotron light source. So it's not just a synchrotron, but it's a synchrotron designed to make light, special kinds of light. And you use that light in biology, medicine, uh, uh, solid state physics and materials. And for the uh, manufacturing of very small microstructures, you know, the, the most advanced chips, you need very tightly controlled, very short wavelength light, and you can get that from synchrotron. In Mexico, the first synchrotron will be constructed in the state of Hidalgo, and Dr. Smoot, Premio Nobel de Física 2006, conversó con la Agencia Informativa de Educación de México sobre el potencial de esta tecnología. The Synchrotron Light Source has very much potential and it serves very many different, you know, subfields or related things uh, that, that have on the surface nothing to do with each other or are very broad like biology and medicine, right? Or surface materials. Okay? But there are very, very many groups who need that as a tool in order to advance their science or to advance their industrial applications. La luz producida por el sincrotron permite a investigadores observar fenómenos de la naturaleza, del cuerpo humano o de cualquier objeto con precisión extrema. It is the most powerful way we have to measure uh, large proteins that your, your cells generate and other macromolecules and that's going to become critical to make the new generations of antibiotics. It's, it's critical for developing new generations of things and critical for understanding in more details about how cells work. But you have these molecules, 30, 40,000 blocks, uh, elements of atoms in it, and you map them because you can do so precisely with the light source that you can actually get it and you rotate this You, you rotate the sample around and reconstruct it in 3D. Las implicaciones a nivel regional y mundial van más allá de las aplicaciones prácticas. Se trata además de un laboratorio que reúne a investigadores de múltiples ciencias. The interesting thing about a synchrotron is it serves many communities. Right. I mean, what will happen if things are done well is they will select professors or institute researchers that are training students, they will do experiments, and then when they graduate and go to jobs at other places, they will also become customers. And that's how you build up your community. La estructura misma del sincrotron permite albergar varios laboratorios en los que los grupos de investigadores pueden trabajar de manera independiente. The one from my institution, Berkeley, has 70 beam lines, that is, they serve 70 different experiments at one time, right? Mexico does not yet have that many experimental groups, yeah. but if you build the, 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 the synchrotron light source with the extra capability of adding more beam lines later, eventually more groups will be too. But so it's both a training for the next generation, it is to do research right now, basic research right now, and what you will see is that some companies come and rent time, yeah. pay for time, or or apply for a government grant to have time in order to do either some research they need or to make really fine structures that they want to test and see how they work.
Estados Unidos, Francia, Inglaterra, Alemania, Brasil, Jordania y Japón, entre otros países, cuentan ya con esta tecnología. It's leading into the technology that we're using now and will be soon in the future, but it also is a training ground and supports many different parts of, of science and technology. La inversión requerida para materializar el sincrotron en México asciende a 500 millones de pesos. The synchrotron is a big step forward, but there are going to be many milestones in Mexico, mm -hmm. and the progress isn't always forward, but, it's, but it is a very big step to build a synchrotron light source, and that's a commitment to paying attention to science and for science in the future, and for taking care of the well-being of Mexican citizens. That's a very good sign. La cooperación internacional, a través de la experiencia y apoyo tanto del sector público como privado, será determinante para el éxito y aprovechamiento de las tecnologías venideras.